Air France and the KLM Group have emerged into headlines today following the announcement of a USD 2.41 billion or 2.26 billion euro share sale. This share sale means that the group that consists of numerous airlines within the aviation industry can repay some of the French state aid that it did acquire in recent years while also keeping up its all-important balance sheet to a suitable level. The selling of shares, again just to reiterate, worth US $2.4 billion, is for the group what is best deemed as an excellent decision to help their debt. Several airlines in the aviation industry did accumulate a significant amount of debt during the global pandemic, something I'm sure you are all more than aware of now. In this situation, it's not so much so concerning operating losses per se, but more about obtaining financial support from governments, shareholders and more that helped keep the airline afloat within the industry, but now they're going to need to repay. As part of this, these cash injections do need to be repaid as per the contractual terms. It is therefore an obligation for this to be taking place. In this specific case, regarding the Air France and KLM Group, they're selling their shares in the hope that they can pay off some of the state aid that was acquired to keep them essentially operational for better words. A calculated total of some 1.7 billion euros will be specifically put towards the reimbursement of the loans sent by the French government last year when the airlines within the group were fighting to continue operating. And again, to reiterate, the 1.7 billion euros is of that 2.26 billion euro share sale total. This is also a decision that has been made by the group that means it will be inching closer and closer toward a 4 billion euro capital increase. While at the moment they're not at this goal, the announcement of the sales and shares does mean that they're inching closer and closer than ever before to reaching this. However, while the group is looking towards the sale of shares and so forth, work is still very importantly being done on acquiring fresh cash injections to pay off their debts owed to the state. And several deals are in the process of being worked. However, they're not at the stage where they can be, say, dotted on a contract and formally announced. Shares of airlines being sold or bought and traded are always a very tricky aspect of the industry and can naturally be therefore complex as they're away from the very simplistic track as they're away from the very simplistic day-to-day -day operations, if you will, of, say, an aircraft, which on the grand scheme of things are not all that simple, but definitely when it comes to explaining day-to-day -day operations, it's far easier than, say, shares. What is important to know regarding this is they do play a crucial role in the airline or group stability and also status within the industry. Moreover, as we've seen today, they also play a very important role in the ability to repay outstanding debts or rearrange a business's financial operations for a host of different reasons, including that initial paying off the debts that I did just mention. If you have any thoughts on the latest at the Air France and KLM Group and what this does mean for them in the future, as well as a bit of their restructuring ongoing to pay off those important debts that need to be cleared, you can let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for those that are still tuning into the content. I hope you've been enjoying the more frequent uploads, and I will see you tomorrow for more content here on the channel.